Welcome, good sir. At last, we speak frankly, instead of with professional reserve. I have something to confess. I am a puppet whose ego has awoken. I don't know exactly why, and we need not dwell on the details. Instead, I wish to dwell on the welfare of Lady Antonia. I adore Lady Antonia. It is a presumptuous feeling for a puppet to have, to be sure. I have no intention of putting myself forward, of course. However, I cannot watch her die. It's too painful. Thus, I need your unique perspective. You exist somewhere between human and puppet. Can a puppet and a human fall in love? Have you ever met a puppet who loves a human? <sighs> it exists indeed. An unbelievable love to be sure. With a wedding ring as its symbol. I fear even trying to pursue such a splendid happiness. I have no intention of telling her, of course. It wouldn't be proper to burden someone so frail. If I may be frank, this is better than I dared hope. Even if you are telling me a sweet lie, I shall savor it. Her illness has worsened. Perhaps because she lost hope. I fear we might lose her soon. Lady Antonia cautions against it, to be sure. But I still believe that gold coin fruit is our last hope. I have heard about an alchemist who knows how to use that most miraculous of medicines. Please find a way to treat her. I believed in you, and my belief has been rewarded. She can be cured. It feels like a dream. The possibility of imminent death, though. Why won't pain ever leave her alone? I cannot make this choice. Every option is painful. I cannot know what's best for her. What would... What would you choose? Yes. I suppose ignoring her pain wouldn't be right. Thank you so much. No matter what happens, I will accept it. You made the right choice. Lady Antonia is completely cured. She is so happy. I don't even know how to thank you. I know now what a glorious feeling it is to wish for the happiness of someone you care for. Perhaps it's presumptuous for a puppet to call that feeling love. I am happy enough just to protect her as best I can. Thank you for saving her and for guiding me through this emotion. With unsurpassed sorrow, I must announce Lady Antonia has passed away. As she entered immortality, she seemed at peace. Her face was calm and she wasn't in pain. It is all thanks to you. Without your most difficult of choices, she would never have found such peace. As for me, I am bereft of emotion. My life, or what passes for it, has lost meaning. It feels like pain has swallowed me whole. Thus I plan to erase my heart and become an ordinary puppet. This will be my last conversation with you as Polandina. Despite how it ended, I thank you for the kindness, bravery, and beautiful moments you showed me.
matter what fate brings us, I will be at Lady Antonia's side. Serving her is my duty, the very reason I was created. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? <laughs>